Hello. I'll just start by um, reminding you, and particularly those people who weren't at the Inf6350 session this week, that there is material on the week 7 page. There are the slides from Sheila Coral, uh, a reading list, um, in case you want to go further with this, and also a handout which explained um, about information interviews, um, some tips and advice that Sheila gave out at the end. And we carried out an exercise, which I'll just talk about in a moment. But this is very useful for the search that you'll be carrying out for a staff member to learn the techniques to do with information interviewing, as well as being relevant to your future careers. So I'll just highlight that um, there were some people on the uh, who've put on their blogs, as they were asked to do, um, some advice. So here we have. Um, team W, um, who's gave some advice about things to do when extracting information about a, a query, um, and some very sensible advice there. And they highlight that um, Team Z, their partner team, was again as was asked to do, has highlighted some things not to do um, during the interview process, like assume what the client needs, they know what the client needs, or just to search in one place. I also just wanted to highlight team why um, because they'd uh, given advice both to the interviewer and to the interviewee about preparing themselves and obviously we staff members will have to think about that um, when you approach us to ask for more information so the first session this next coming week uh, week eight is going to be about teaching information literacy and three of the librarians are going to be presenting the interesting work that they're doing, um, Lynn Parker, Vicky Grant and Maria Mawson, and they'll be introducing themselves in a moment. I'm just going to highlight that on the uh, 23 Things main blog, uh, there's some extra links for resources. There's a huge amount about teaching information literacy, and I've just linked to a few items there on the main blog. Now. I'll just hand over to the three librarians to talk about what they'll be discussing and remind you that this first session is in the Mappin Lecture Theatre 2. So you go into the usual building, but you'll be um, either turning uh, left or going up the stairs and then bearing left um, towards Mappin Lecture Theatre 2 and you should be able to follow the signs. Hi, I'm Lynn Parker. I'm Head of Learning and Teaching uh, in the University Library. I'm responsible for delivering online information literacy materials and I'll be talking about how uh, we've designed the information skills resource and what issues we need to consider when doing that work. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say a little bit about um, who you are and what you're going to be doing? Hi, I'm Vic Grant and I'm the Faculty Librarian for Medicine, Dentistry and Health and I'll be talking about how we can engage our medical and dental students with the skills of information literacy. Hello, I'm Maria and I'm going to be talking about my experiences of working with students in departments in the Faculty of Social Sciences to develop their information literacy skills. The second session this week is going to be from Alistair, Alistair Allen who's going to be telling you a little bit more about searching, giving you some more guidance um, about advanced searching. And this is just to remind you what Alistair looks like, an extract from the trailer for week three. Um, he's away at the beginning of this week, so I haven't included him live in this particular trailer. But I'm sure that you'll find this a very valuable session for reminding you or learning a bit more about these things. <laughs> 